Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Base Pages where I will be creating some base page ideas for me to later reference when I'm creating journals. Um, this is a great place to put all of your fun ideas into and so that you, yeah, you can just easily reference this journal later. Now I am specifically making this journal all very easy, simple page ideas. That's what this whole collaboration is about. You may have already heard me talk about this, but just in case this is the first video you have stumbled across, um, I skipped a few days because I have been making tons of videos showing you all fun, simple, easy ideas. And you know, I wanna change it up on my channel. So today um, I'm actually going to be doing three layouts. I'm following along this entire um, prompt list so that I have a full journal in the end full of ideas. And so, I last left off on number six or day six, which was flip. And so today is technically day nine. And so I'm going to do day seven, eight, and nine, just all in this video, because they're all very, very simple ideas, but things that I know I like to put in my journals. We're gonna start with day seven, and the word is multiple. Also check out the playlist down below so you can see which creator is actually making the video, video for today. I'm just following along since this is my collaboration and I wanted to play along. So let's see, the word is multiple. And again, you can use that however you want. I actually just took three little mini envelopes. Um, and just for an example, when I later reference this, I might see three envelopes, like they're purchased envelopes, but I might see this idea and take it and change it up a little bit in the sense that like maybe I'm going to use handmade envelopes in place of that, or maybe I'm going to use three little pockets. So I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of a way that I can maybe fit all three of these on the page. I might only do two. I guess that's still multiple technically. No, I want three. Okay, I'm just gonna start by gluing this down. And yeah, this is just such an easy, simple journal page, but it is something that I have used and used. And a lot of times what I will do is also decorate the little flaps to make it look really fun. I'm not gonna do that in this video or in this journal because I just want the base idea. Okay, there's that one. And I don't know if you saw, I just glued on the three sides so it's also like a little top pocket. And I think I'll do the same for this one. I'm just trying to fit all three on here. I think it looks kind of cool. Gonna do the same thing. Messily add glue to the three sides. And that should be good so that I can fit the last one. And then you can also open everything up and still access. Okay, and this one fits pretty good. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're following, following along with this series, let me know how you're liking it. Like I said, I skipped a few days, and since I'm pre-filming, I don't know if I ended up putting up a different video, but I do try to change it up and not always have the same type of videos up day after day. I think it gets kind of repetitive and boring, so hopefully I had some fun content up for you guys. There. I mean, yeah, again, so simple, yet very usable and fun and it looks interesting and i think it would be so fun to decorate each little flap but we're just going to keep the base idea for today so we're going to move on to day eight which was window and again i could think of a lot of fun easy ways to create a page but i have a scrapbook piece of paper it's actually double-sided that's just about the same size of my page and I'm thinking that I want to have it flip. There's no rules in how you interpret these words. So even though the word is window, it doesn't matter if I end up creating a flip, a pocket, any, anything. Again, it's just all in how you interpret it. So for the window portion of this, you could obviously do like a rectangle window cutout, but I've done that so many times that I thought it would be more fun to do like a heart shape cutout. And I'm just gonna kinda, actually, I'm not even going to use a pencil. I'm gonna do, 
If you guys have been following me for a while, I'm obsessed with doing like wonky shape hearts. And so I think that's what I'm going to do is like a heart shape cut out, which is a window. I feel like anything that you can see through to the next page or area can be considered a window. So I'm just cutting out a heart and I'm trying to make it kind of a weird shape on purpose, although that didn't even end up that weird anyways, but you get the point. I'll save this for later. Um, I am thinking it would be fun to add some vellum paper and I happen to have a pack right here. I get this on Amazon. Ooh, I actually have another idea. If I folded this in half actually, or maybe not in half, but to fit on the page, it could be a little side pocket where you can actually put something in. Let me try to fold this just right. Okay, I'm gonna trim this down, but I don't love um, using adhesives on vellum. So I am thinking that I may have to use my sewing machine for this one, but let's just trim this by hand. I have lost my scissors. They're here somewhere. My area is a mess. I've been on a filming spree for the last like couple days. And so everything is out, but it's easier that way. Yeah, you know what? I am just gonna grab my trimmer. We're gonna trim the rest of that. Just trying to get this straight. Well, I didn't cut that side straight, so that wasn't gonna work. This should be okay. All right. Then we'll come back to our heart. Yeah. I like this idea because I didn't think about having this be a little pocket. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and just sew off camera so I don't have to move you guys around. And sew around like that. And I'm just gonna flip around right here and you'll hear it, but you won't see it. Just line everything up. Call that all right. It's not perfect, but so I just sewed around the three edges. As you can see, I accidentally got caught right here, so it's not perfect, but that's okay. And then you can easily pop something in there. Let's see here. For example, like a little postcard. Let's let's see what that looks like. And of course, the shape, the heart shape will make it so that you might want to decide what you put in here a little more, but that's you kind of get the point. I think that's pretty cute. And you also don't have to use that as a pocket. You could also have the window um, opening to the background since I did make this a flap. And I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down. Yeah, because you could have just glued this entire thing down and then just had a side access pocket, but kind of like the idea of having a few options. So 
we'll just press down for a minute and let that that there once it all dries I think you get the point so yeah there we go window that's a fun take on a window I think okay let's go over here now and we are going to be jumping over to day nine tuck and I actually have an idea however I'm wanting to do something that goes up and over the page and I can't really do that here actually I can go up and under okay we're gonna start with just a book page and I'll tell you the measurements uh, here it's about six inches by 11 inches and I'm gonna start by folding over a little piece of it in fact, I may end up using like some ink, but for now, let's just glue the top and the bottom down. Actually, I'm just gonna open that up. So we have a nice little tuck spot on both sides, but the idea is that it wraps around a page. So I'm just folding at kind of a random spot. I don't think I've ever done this. And it's gonna go instead of on top, or instead of going up and over a page, we're gonna have it go under. So kind of taken up the whole page but you could also do this so that it's a shorter tuck again there's not really any rules in how a tuck how you interpret a tuck and and how you make a tuck um lots of talk about a tuck I am going to take a little paper clip um we might be able to use this little rose let's see how that works on the bottom of a page and I'm just going to do this to kind of hold everything in place but you could totally glue things down if you wanted. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, this is fun how that kind of goes up. And so then you have a little tuck spot under here and over here, and you could tuck something behind it as well. Um, so again, just real quick, I am going to take my little ink dauber and some ink. I'm going to punch out a little half circle. This isn't dried yet, so I'm just pulling it up. And this, if I were, again, making this, I'm doing this at a pretty odd angle here. If I were doing this in a journal that like I was making for someone, I would probably take this idea and decorate the little strip here. You could also do this in entire idea with like wallpaper something like that but for today I'm just going to keep this as a base idea I do find it a little bit easier when I have simple ideas to reference because it's not as intimidating to me and it looks like you know an easy start there we'll call that good I need to put some little tabs on my pages here and I will just do that right here just to make it easy to find even though this is a smaller journal so it's pretty easy to flip through but I'm just going to use one tab I'm realizing for this page here and I'm going to just title it um, this was six. We're going to do seven multiple eight window. And I did that a little messy, but that's okay. It's my journal. And then I'm also going to say nine tuck. Yeah, we're just going to do that. I don't feel like I need a tab for every single one. I was realizing as I was making this journal 
and adding these little tabs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it on somewhere, probably somewhere up here. There. All right, I hope this gave you a few ideas and I thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you are playing along, let me know um, how it's going for you and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.